Hi everyone and welcome back to To Wonder Freely. Today I have some clips that only other RVers will appreciate. So I thought you would get a kick out of these. If you watched our video um, that was a day in the life where we stayed in the Yogi campground, this will make a little bit more sense, more sense but um, uh, it'll be funny either way. So let me just share with you, even though you know you feel like you've been on the road for over two years, you kind of got this down, you're kind of professionals, you know, um, things still happen. So let's see, let's check out what happened to Chris and I. An impasse for the first time in over two years. <laughs> we have come to a bridge that is too small for us. We're actually moving campgrounds today. We need to come up with an alternative option. Right now, we just have our four ways on. We didn't know, so we'll see. That's going to be the tricky part. Um, so, if I go down that oh. road a little bit, all right well of course like as soon as we pull over Chris just puts the four ways on and stops because we have to figure out what to do and a car pulls by and they're so nice they're like oh no you guys are stuck and and we're like yep so um, they told us another way to get around to the campground that I'm sure they're locals but the problem now is going to be that we need to back up um, and get ourselves turned around here so so I don't know what he's going to think here. Let's see. He's walking up to just check the whole road. It is not looking so good. Lots of trees around here too. But let me see. I'll, I'll get an update from him. So what are the odds of this happening? As Chris is walking up, the people just get home to that house. I don't want to film them, make them uncomfortable. But they just get home to that house and they're like, Chris is like, well... I think I could pull, I could back it into their driveway and turn it around. And they're getting out of the car and she comes right up to him and is like, hey, you can use our driveway to pull it around. This, so this must, this must happen. But, okay, I don't want to film them. But I think that's what we're going to do. I'll let you know. Apparently casing the joint did not work out for us. No. Because if you remember from that <laughs> this video. the first time we cased it. And this is the. The first time we've first ever time known we've where we're it. going to a campground. And <laughs> it's the we, first time. The worst part of this is like, what was that? Not even a week ago? I drove over this covered bridge. <laughs> I, I knew it was here. Chris is like, I even checked the weight rating on it. It was 22 tons and I knew, well, we're fine. He's oh, like, I did not guy. even think about it. But the, the woman, so kind, she said, you would not believe how many people this happens to. But I guess for regular trailers, the, what are they, eight feet? Yeah, the tow behinds are eight the feet. The tow behinds are eight feet. So they just take their air the conditioners off? This is nine six on this bridge. So they think they can make it, and you know they just shear their air conditioner right off the roof. I mean, we're not oh, they're close. shearing their air conditioner off. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, no, they're not taking. I it thought off you meant that they were taking it off like in advance and then putting it back on. Oh, they're course, shearing their. Stay out here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, good grief. Back, okay. So we're gonna goes. back all the way up there, and then into their driveway and turn it around. Okay. Well done. And the gentleman, the gentleman actually came out and. Yep, I think we're good. As long as you're good on this. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, the gentleman actually came out and helped Chris to get it back in, which was really nice. And then he, too, told us the other way to go. So, it was really nice of them to say that. They just, they said that um, this happens all the time. So, here we are. We did it. So, basically, it just ended up, we backed up in their driveway. That's right. The old three-point turn, and we're at it. The old three-point turn with the fifth wheel. Yeah. It's been a big day. <laughs> this is, I know, it's a 15 minute move. Not so much. I know. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Sometimes things don't go your way, I guess. But the best part is, I don't think we're ever going to case another campground, right? No, I can't believe that <laughs> happened. I, mean, I sabotaged us with the casing. You did sabotage uh, us. Oh, mercy. Yeah. Okay. Well, here, I think this is a good point, though. It's, and the, every time that something like this happens to us, like when we had the flat tires, something where we are kind of at our limit, you know, of, and have to figure out a new plan, something has gone wrong. Yeah. Um, every single time people have been there. People come out of the woodwork. Within seconds, yeah. literally within seconds, and that want to help. So it really does show you that um, when it comes down to it, people want to help you. And especially don't be concerned like when you're out in remote areas you're out in the country I mean the those people want to help you more than anybody else I really truly believe that because they are so much more 
used to the fact that they're dependent on others because they live in remote areas. Don't yeah. you agree with that? Yeah, I think that's true. I think it's a lot harder, you know, yeah. in a more populous area where people think, well, someone else will deal with it, you know? Right. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. Once again, we were helped. We're good. We're back on the road. We're going to take another route around. We will make it to our campground. And while we are on the subject, I just went to the bank like two days ago and I kind of forgot like with the truck. It's not just the hike thing. You know, I didn't even have the trailer with me, but still just trying to fit. I barely, I was like this close to the sides on both sides to go through the drive-in on the mirrors. So I couldn't believe it. So I took a picture because I thought this is pretty funny. So look how close I was on this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these, this video and these clips because, you know, like I said, you can be on the road for a long time and yet you still face kind of challenges. So uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.